We got codenamed Super, the time Vegeta violated Poi Poi in front of the whole squad. You hear me? Oh, yeah. Yo, hit it that all thumbs up with button. This fight against Pui Pui. This man right here is trash. He's only known as a Vegeta victim. You're a victim. Mm. But the way he pulled off this entrance, you would think he's really somebody. Look at this. The door with the M opens up and he's Facts. just standing there, arms folded, smirking. Look at the fucking drip, man. And yeah, he came through with that M on, on the forehead, M on the door. They didn't think he's Scarface. He said, throw the logo on the door. Or he didn't say that. It would have been Bobbity, but still. Not gonna lie to you, that shit was clean. That shit had the Supreme Kai real life shook. But I guess it Why? doesn't mean anything for real because the Supreme Kai is always out there acting scary. Facts. The Man could pull up and he would still be shaking like he's seen Thanos. But yeah, that's enough about his sorry ass. Let's get into the fight. He lunges at him on some, I'm gonna get ya. And yeah, I could tell he's just not serious today. By the way, Poi, Poi Poi just reminds me of Kui. To me, he he basically is like the new Kui. You remember Kui from uh, Namit? Nigga Vegeta clinked up real quick. Another Vegeta victim. They all have the same swag. All the Vegeta victims kind of got the same swag if you think about it. Poi Poi and Cootie could be from the same hood. I'm just saying. <laughs> you mean? We only two seconds in and we could tell he's a light snack. Guess his shit blocked. And I'm really confused as to why he's sitting there oh, surprised. Shit. Oh, shit. You jumped across the map to do that one attack. He literally saw it from a mile away. No way we're 200 episodes in and we still got villains who can't box. After that, he does a James Harden step back and tries another attack. And as Boy. you can see, it gets caught again. Usually when Vegeta's winning, he'd be smiling and shit. But here, he's not looking to no He lowers his fist just like how... Vegeta was finna... Oh my god. No smiling, Vegeta? You got to know that Vegeta was having a mental health crisis right now. The only reason he even allowed Bobbity to control him was because he was going through it. Some niggas think that Bobbity made him turn evil. Yes, the Majin did exasperate his evilness, like when he blew up the crowd and stuff. That's I, I would say that was a little bit more of the Majin doing that. But if you really know your Dragon Ball Z knowledge... He let Bobbity take him over. That boy was so desperate to surpass Kakarot. Boy started using PEDs. Oh, nah, bro. Started shooting Tyranna Ball. Like, what you doing at the trend? Come on. Anabolic? That's how you going? You trying to cheat to catch my mans? You like Tristan? Don't do that, bro. You got, if you gonna catch Goku, catch him the right way, you feel me? Nigga wanted to boost, the performance enhancer. He lowers his fist just like how Michael Jackson be lowering weapons. And <laughs> Pui just sees the squad in the back laughing at his ass. So Brody Roasty. decides to backflip the embarrassment off. And I guess that shit worked because he's really- Nigga try to backflip. Nigga, we saw you, bro. We saw you shook, nigga. Try to backflip out of it. Standing back there smiling like nothing happened. Had the confidence to tell Vegeta that he not like that. Then the camera pans back to the squad and just look at them. The Supreme Kai is still sitting there looking sure. shook. Goku knows he only got one day, so he tried to hit as many off guards as possible. And <laughs> Gohan is looking giddy as shit because it's really looking like he doesn't have to train for real. But he gon' learn. Vegeta lowers the guard and he goes right at him. Missing the first attack and the camera switches POVs. The way this man is swinging and smiling, you would really think that he's eating up. But the second it changes angles, we see that it's a YB in the mirror album. Straight misses. Over here, Jolly. It's a YB. It's a YBN album full of misses. Oh my god. Namir finna spin on you with them GTA guns, Super. You better calm down, bro. That boy got the infinite, uh. Ammo, uh, uh, cheat. You better calm it down. You feel me? Before he pull up on you. GTA style. This shit, when he's losing the fight, he think this shit a game. Vegeta said not. Nah, catches the legs and looks him dead in his eyes. And he got him standing there looking like a lost Ginyu Force member. <laughs> to the top of the dome. And then he falls back down. And this is where Vegeta starts to get in his back. Walks up to him on some get up. He looks up to see this 4-8 man staring him down like a disappointed father. Bro in this bitch looking like Zuko when he got his shit cooked in the Yagami Facts. Kai. But after that, the camera cuts to the Supreme Kai and he's still holding this shocked expression. I'm not gonna lie, this gotta be some form of glazing. 
Like, no way he got you this impressed that you couldn't change your shocked face or expression in the last two minutes. And it's crazy because the only thing that's really shocking is that he decided to walk out the house with that weak ass cut. Like, come on, bro. I am trying to figure out why does he have still have this. Oh, wait, what is Poi Poi doing that's making you feel like. Oh, oh, like, this thing getting mixed up right now. You should. That's why Goku just like. Goku is like, God damn, Vegeta is mixing this nigga. <laughs> Supreme Kai. Oh, 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 oh. Nigga, calm down, bro. You ain't seeing the mixy. The Kai's really need to be studied in a lab. They really hopped in the chair and said, yeah, let me get what the Android that? 16. And when the cut was finished, they really dapped up their barber like it was nice or something. That mohawk no fade combo is really egregious. <laughs> and what makes it worse is they really put on the earrings like that shit was going to save it. Come on, that's trip. But let's get back to the fight. Bro tries to bust a move, but Vegeta catches on to it and kicks it in the chin, causing bro to bite the shit out of his own tongue. He flies up, recovering, but it was already too late. Vegeta was on the move, he disappears into thin air, and when Pui Pui lands, he turns to see that Vegeta is gone. Just stares directly into the audience of three people. Disrespect. Adam Webb cannot relate. Goku just like, hey, fuck you looking at. And it's here when he realizes that Vegeta is behind him. He hits the slow turn and there he is, standing over him yet again. Woo! And really look at him, bro. This shit is Don't just care. a 9 of 5 to him. He out there looking like Nicole Yoki. Facts. But we, we try to get up and get something Ow! immediately. Got his ass laid out like a man. This nigga, this nigga putting up the most unathletic 45 points you've ever seen. Nigga, Nicole Yoki is like a mom. Boy, huh? That boy out there looking nasty on the court. What? Nigga look like he can't play. Might have, <laughs> mess around, look at the stats up by half time. How this nigga got 46 points at halftime? In fact, no swag, no sauce, no drip in your game. Just pure fundamentals. Not even that, really. Mattress. And after that, the camera cuts to Bobbity and his character design really has me weak because he's out here looking like a crease sneaker. Damn it. I knew I shouldn't have signed Pui Pui. He's fucking ass. Man, you be calling everyone ass. <laughs> if you that nice one to go. That might genuinely be the funniest shit this nigga's ever said. Lace up in box. Oh Man, God. shut your ass up. Coaches don't play. Knowing damn well if he stepped on that field, he gets sent to hell right with the third in two seconds. The way Vegeta was doing this man, Pui Pui, is disrespectful. Looks down at him for like the third time. And he peeps that his head shape is crazy. He like, damn. Tori, I'ma fuck your shit up, bruh. Gave you that third form Frieza elongated <laughs> head shape. And we all know those are fighting with. Toriyama loves that uh, Xenomorph. First of all, rest in peace to the mutton. Anytime Toriyama's name is brought up, we're going to eulogize. Rest in peace to the mutton. You feel me? Rest in peace to Sifu. Rest in peace to the goat, Akira. You feel me? My man, that's my goat. You feel me? But I ain't going to lie. You love that little xenomorph, goddamn penile head design. I don't there's a lot of niggas who had that peen out, that damn had the uh the swipe in the back. Nigga, goddamn, that's crazy. Words, especially coming from the man with the subliminal McDonald's hairline. Pui Pui stands up to rock, bro. But if you take one good look at Vegeta, you could tell that he's letting the intrusive thoughts win. Nothing was stopping him from finding out if he could jump on that shit like a platform. He jumps and boosts off of it, but the second he landed, it went from Mario to Mortal Kombat. Kicks him with perfect form, while leaving evidence of assault on his face. This Dog, he jumped off the top of his head? This was the beginning of the end. This man was really alternating gut checks and headshots at light speed. Had the boring and Bobbity looking at the screen like, oh, huh? You don't even got to see this fight for real. All I got to do is show you this frame and you know that they're witnessing murder. He gets hit with a heavy attack and he said, hold on, come here. I got one more for you and knocks him down on the floor. Shit was getting so bad, Bobby had to stage change to this dream, 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 dream ass map in hopes of turning the tides of the fight in his favor. He even started talking about how this planet was 10 times gravity. And I'm just like, yeah, shit over with. You lost, bro. You gonna lose at home like the Pelicans, bro. You gonna lose at home like the Pelicans, bro. Goku was doing a hundred times yeah, gravity before he even touched Nami. I'm crying. This really the dude that got the Supreme Kai quaking in his boots. Vegeta <laughs> just like, bro, I don't even feel that shit. And this is where we see natural God. selection at play. Somebody hit up Darwin. 
because after hearing all that he proceeds to just run at him he starts <laughs> swinging at vegeta and he's just like yeah let me get my last weaves in because he don't know if you ever get this type of winning feeling ever again and boy i could tell you his ass made the right choice he guts him, causing him to leave his mouth wide open no diddy and kicks him all the way into the rock no johnson and yeah Pupi was looking crazy in his final moments look at his teeth the only way he can fix that shit is if a tetris block falls out the sky he sees Vegeta over nigga need veneers facts so you might yeah you don't even got veneer money like that bobby ain't even bobby got you niggas on a 360 bobby got you niggas on a nasty 360 nigga Nigga, control your soul. Nigga, that's the worst 360 you can ever. So you know you can't get them veneers. So you might as well go and let Vegeta finish it off. You feel me? But they're doing this boxer warm-up shit. And bro, like I said, he don't got that survival instinct. Damn. Anyone else would be like, oh, all right, maybe I should just dip. Because ain't nothing good's going to come out of fighting someone who's doing this emo. But him? Nah. Where's he going to dip to? player he ain't gonna dip nowhere vegeta gonna catch him ah uh, he gets Over. right back up and charges at him and vegeta's just like oh word and then proceeds to do the superhero comic ass pose to get to him goku being in the sidelines got him acting OG. different he goes up to him places his hand on him hits him with that you're finished ass smirk and turns my name Whee! into punks. yeah man if they put finishers in that sparking zero i'ma need this in there y'all could take out final flash that shit unrealistic anyways I ain't gonna lie to you. I was rocking with you that whole video till you said take out Final Flash. I get it. On the show, it, it ain't hitting for shit, but you ain't never hit a perfectly timed Final Flash and Takechi. Oh, this, this nigga playing. This nigga must not have had Takechi 3, huh? Huh? Budokai, you ain't never hit the boop, bop, 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 hit a nigga. Da! Ah! Teleported and hit him with that big old super final flash. Oh, come on, bro. Don't do that. Love the video, though. Love the video, though. Y'all. Yeah.